children we have Giselle, Malachi, Nasir, and Naomi and here on this channel we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss an upload. All right so as you can see by the title we are going to Audi's for the first time today. I'm not knowing what to really expect. Um, I see a lot of different opinions on Audi. Um, the reason why I want to try it out is because I hear that they have good quality products at a low, lower price. So if I can save some money in the grocery department because I do have four kids, then I'm all for it because my kids eat like grown people so i really want to try out audis um i've heard one of, the, one of the big things that i've heard was that their produce is really good and very affordable and we go through produce like mad men especially like the berries my kids and their berries and they all each eat something different like a different type of berry so we got strawberries the blueberries raspberries like they all eat something different so i really want to try out their produce and then i don't know like 
over the past couple of years, you guys, me shopping at different stores for produce, it doesn't just seem to be good quality produce anymore. And yes, I could go to a farmer's market. Actually, I don't even know where a farmer's market is at this point, but I could go and hopefully that would be better. But the, the big name grocery stores, like they have really been letting me down as far as produce goes. So hopefully Audi's have better produce. I mean, that's, I want to say that's the main reason why I'm going, but I really want to see what else is in the store and their prices compared to other stores. So the other stores that I shop at mainly, it's just Kroger's at this point. It, it used to be Walmart. It used to be Walmart, but I've kind of cut Walmart out. I've just been too disappointed too many times. So cut them out. So Sam's for like the big haul, uh, the big bulk grocery stuff, and then like everyday items I get from um, Kroger's. I will do Myers if I have to, but I normally yeah. don't have to. Yeah, I will do a Myers, but a Myers sometimes they, their prices are a little bit higher. But if I'm in the area of a Myers and I need just to pick up something really quick, then I'll go. But like I said, we are going to Audi's for the first time. I already did my morning routine and I made my coffee. Um, so we can just go ahead and head out the door. But before we do that, I, I'm i going in with zero expectations a little bit as far as what to expect at Audi's. But I still want a meal plan so I can have an idea of things that I need. So I have my weekly meal uh, planner right here. Spring break is coming up. So I need to make sure that I have everything planned out so I know what I'm fixing because, <sighs> yeah, spring break. So I want to go ahead and quickly do a meal plan just in case it's something that I need to look out for when I get to Audi. I know for a fact that produce is going to be one of the big things. I also want to try out their lunch meats because sandwiches. You know, when the days I don't feel like cooking lunch, sandwiches. So, um, I definitely want to check that out. But I want to go ahead and make a meal plan really quick just so I know what I'm getting. I'm not just buying stuff just to be buying stuff, even though we are testing out the store as a, as a whole. But let's go ahead and make this meal plan really quick. All right. So, we are going to stop with breakfast really quickly because I feel like that's just easy. You know, um, we kind of do the same variations just on different days. So we can do, we're going to do pancakes. Then we have French toast. I'm just saying all the options that they like. French toast, then waffles. Then back to pancakes. And then, then on Friday, we'll do cereal as well as on Saturday, we'll do cereal. And then on Sundays, we have um, a brunch. And uh, that'll carry over until lunch because it's brunch. Then uh, for lunch, we'll do, again, very basic. We'll do um, nuggets. Hot dogs, burgers, pulled, I should have just put barbecue chicken, but pulled chicken, but it's the barbecue chicken sandwich. Um, Then on Friday, we'll probably, honestly, because this is spring break, we're going to go out, so um, lunch out. Here, whatever leftovers we have, I'll just heat up for lunch. That's taken care of. Then for dinner, here's what we really need to plan out. I do have a method for doing uh, my dinners. If you want to know my method to make it easier for you to figure out what to eat, just... Let me know in the comments and I will tell you. But for Monday, um, we're going to have, let's see, lemon, let's see, lemon, chicken thighs, 
I like this planner, but it's just small. I write kind of, I don't think it's big, but th these lines are really small. Lemon chicken thighs, and that is going to be with um, roasted potatoes and veggies. Okay, on Tuesday, we're going to do nachos. Okay, Wednesday, we are having um, salmon bites. Salmon bites with rice and veggies. On Thursday, we are going to be having black pepper chicken. Okay. And then Friday. I don't like to cook on Fridays, but because this is spring break, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but I'm going to plan something just in case. And on Fridays, I would like to do something really simple. So I might do like loaded fries, which don't take much to fix. You just honestly just put the fries in the oven and then have the kids put their own toppings on them what they want. On Saturday, I want to say either leftovers or takeout because... It's Saturday, so leftovers or takeout. And then Sunday, we're having um, short beef ribs for dinner. Okay, so I got that. Now, as far as the snacks, they pick their own snacks. Um, you know, I have a snack bar, so they just choose whatever snacks they want. So I have a little shopping list on this side and I can tear it off and take it with me or I can just take off this whole sheet. As you can see from my hand, it's really not that big. It's not a whole sheet of paper. So um, what I don't have out of this, I would write down the list and take it with me just so I can make sure that I'm fully prepared for all of these meals to where I don't have to go to the store every single day. Um, for the most part, I have everything. So as far as this Audi trip, like I said, we're just going mostly for the fruits. I don't need any meat. Um, and my freezer is full and we kind of got to work our way through that because you guys know that we are going to be leaving soon. So we got to work our way through the, the meats in the freezer. So that's what I'm going to be using for, for this. Um, I'm just going to say fruits, snacks. Just to see if they have different snacks. I do need a case of water. Um, I think that, honestly, that's all I have. Like, I have everything. So, that's a good thing. Yeah. So, we're just going to leave it like this. But at least I have an idea if I need to look out for something um, while I'm at Audi's. <music> Um, with Audis, I got Nay. Um, we are about to okay, about to head home. But my experience at Audis, I will give it a nine out of ten, and I will give it a ten out of ten. But I'm kind of being a little petty right now. So the store was clean. Um, everything was in stocked. Um, it didn't have no smell. 
Um, what else I feel like people were saying? I don't know. The the prices definitely was cheaper. So I really, really enjoyed that part. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. I'll show you once we get in the house. Um, the only reason I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because I had to bag my own stuff. And as a large family, I just feel like um, it's kind of an inconvenience, if you will, because that's me bagging a lot of stuff. Okay, so somebody answered this question for me. Was I supposed to scan the bags? Like, do you have to pay for bags at, at Aldi's? Because I don't know. And I didn't. But it asked me, did I? And I said, yeah, because I, I said, yeah, because I was just like rushing through because I knew I had to go get an A. But at the same time, I thought the way it read in my mind was, did you scan everything? And in my head, that's why I pushed, that's why I pushed, yeah. So somebody commented down below, am I supposed to scan the bags? And do you pay for bags at Audi? Like, should I, should you just bring your own bags at Audi? Um, oh, I see the light. Yeah. You hear it? The bus? It's that way. Yeah. So uh, let me know in the comments down below so I can know for future reference because I'm definitely going to be going back to Audi's because I definitely like them. I won't be doing like my major grocery shopping with them, but for the most part, like the um, the produce, definitely. Maybe even the meat, I don't know. We'll see how the meat turns out. to Audi's sooner because I definitely would have been going there on the regular because I got all of this I'm gonna let you guys guess I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for everything at the end but Audi's is so budget friendly I was shocked at the prices I think I showed you a couple of the prices but I was definitely shocked at the prices so I'm gonna show you um, everything that I got from Audi's um, I guess I'll start with this well, let me start I got this um, what's it? Ramen cup of noodles. I didn't bag it. That's why I'm going to show you everything I didn't bag. Okay. I have some stuffing cornbread mix to make um, for one of the sides for dinner next week. I got these. I've never seen these before, but they are the guacamole spicy singles. And uh, they're individual packaged. I wish instead of getting the big tub and having the big tub go bad, like, this is so convenient. I did not know that I existed. I'm excited to try that. I picked up one box of oatmeal. We usually do the Quakers, but I decided to, you know, give this a try. It's Millville. I guess that's an Audi brand because I've never heard of it before. But this is the maple and brown sugar, and Malachi likes oatmeal, so we're going to see if it tastes the same. I mean, I like oatmeal too, especially maple and brown sugar. We're going to see if it tastes the same, and if it does taste the same, then we're definitely going to be getting it from there. Um, then I picked up these snacks, the alphabet cookies, and then the birthday cake mini animal crackers, and that's something they can snack on, um, over spring break. Okay. And this, I got some granola, so we're going to try that and see, because you know I want to start making my, um, acai bowls, and... I always put granola in it. What you need, mommy? You want your milk? Okay. So I gotta finish picking this stuff out the bag, okay? Then I picked up some um, oven roasted turkey lunch meat for them, so we'll try that. They're gonna make some sandwiches for lunch because I'm not gonna be cooking every single day for lunch. Like some stuff just gonna have to be easy for them to fix. Then I got these shrimp and avocado rolls. How do you even do that thought in a refrigerator? Microwave. 
So you have to microwave these. But I thought these were convenient. And there's 15 pieces in here. And then I got these mussels in a tomato and garlic sauce. It's um, the whole shell. Yes. What? That's cornbread. That's not a snack. Um, so I wanted to try these because I went to a um, Italian place for my mom's birthday in December and they had some kind of like, it was spaghetti, but it had this in it and um, it was good. So try to recreate that. Then we got some seasoned pulled chicken with barbecue sauce. I'm actually going to use this tonight for dinner because we have a busy afternoon. And then I saw these loaded baked potato porajis, pie, pie rajis. I'm probably uh, butchering it, but I want to try. Now that she has bacon lash, it is. We'll see. We'll see. But this looks appetizing. It reminds me of um, dumplings, but even though they like apparently mini pies. So that's all that's in that bag. Again, I got some produce, but the produce look really good. Really good. We got raspberries. I've never had this before, but I see people eat it all the time. It's pomegranate. Pomegranate seeds that's on the inside. I want to try this. I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna this spot. So I'm gonna have to try that as soon as we finish. Then they had red and green grapes um, all together. It's called Perfect Pairing. So I picked up one of those. Then we got some Ahi tuna. These are tuna steaks. They're kind of small, but this perfect for me in my dinner. And then I got 20 hash brown patties because we love the McDonald's one, so we're gonna see if this is equivalent to that. So we'll see on breakfast time. You want grapes? Can you give me a second? I'll wash them, okay? Yes, Daddy. Yeah, they are. Then we got these peekaboo pine berries. I've never even heard of this before, so that'll be interesting to try. Then I got some broccoli crowns, some blueberries, Mini cucumbers. <laughs> oh, that's for me. Um, some mandarin oranges. We're gonna try these. Giselle loves oranges, so we're gonna see if this is even different because it definitely is cheaper. Um, we had some stuffed uh, salmon. So if you know me, you know I love some stuffed salmon. So if I can get it for cheaper, because that sale is like twenty-five dollars for four. I can't remember how much this was, but it definitely does not add up to that. Then I just got one pack of turkey bacon. Again, we're going to try it and see. I've heard a lot of people say that all these brands taste different. So that's why I didn't pick up bulk of a lot of stuff. So um, we'll try that and see. Um, some eggs. Some bananas. And then some diced tomatoes with green chili. I like to put these in my pasta. Some pasta salads and just pasta dishes in general. And then, and then the last thing I got is a case of water and three things of juices, one lemonade, and then these two splash brands. This is the tropical blend and then the berry blend for the kids to try. All right, so got the receipt. My total is with tax, $107.04. Now, I feel like that wasn't bad. I feel like it wasn't bad. But I feel like I've been seeing a lot of people get a lot more for $100, like, on their videos. But for me and my family, I feel like I still, that's not bad. Um, the most expensive thing I got, it looks like, was... The my stuffed salmon was $9.99, and then that pulled chicken was $7.49, the one that we're gonna have for dinner. My sushi rolls was $4.99, the pine berries was $4.99. All the all the fruit don't look like it was that much because I'm looking at blueberries. Oh, okay, never mind. Blueberries was $4.19. How much did they be in the store? Don't it be like three something in a regular store? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that. Might have to check that. But you got the raspberries from 199. 
So how come the raspberries was $1.99, but the blueberries was $4.99? Anyways, um, what else we got? The grapes was $5.32 because it was 3.15 pounds. What else was expensive? Well, I mean, not expensive, but so for those tuna steaks, it was only $4.75. Now, tuna steaks can cost a lot. They, so for $4, that was good. I can admit that that was good. Um, the hash browns was $4.49. Lemonades and then juices was $1.99. Oatmeal, $1.75. Um, so that's pretty much it. Those are the, like the most expensive, um, the most expensive things. The bananas was only a dollar and 17. So that's good. The eggs was only one ninety eight. That's good. The water six, um, not six, three sixty nine. I feel like that's kind of the standard all the way around, but yeah. So one Oh seven Oh four. Not bad, not bad. I can already got everything put up, um, but we need to go. We need to go straighten out the 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 freezer attached to the fridge because I just crammed everything in there because I didn't want anything to defrost. But I literally had no room to put it. Like there was no room in there to put it. I like, like I said, just crammed everything in there. So let's go straighten that out real quick. I feel like I hope it's not going to take too long because I didn't plan on doing that today but it shouldn't take long so i don't mind so let's go ahead and head down and show you what the freezer is looking like so we can just i guess reorganize it okay so this is the freezer Ooh. that i'm talking about like packed jam packed i had to like force everything in here so yeah i need to clean all this out i don't even know what's in here we just keep putting stuff on top of stuff and I feel like some of this can go in the outside freezer and the main stuff needs to be in here like the stuff we use every day like um, uh, breakfast stuff and maybe like little snack stuff I don't know child, but we need to figure this out this is ridiculous <laughs> emptied out um so far we have this trash bag but it i need to clean this y'all crazy i need to clean the inside of this so let's do that really quickly so we can put this stuff back in because i don't want nothing defrosting <music> Okay, so here we are, cleaned out, 
I couldn't even take this out for the life of me. Like, I don't understand. I don't know if it's not incorrectly and I just can't lift up, but I used to be able to just lift it up, but I can't now. So, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is go into the other freezer and bring out all the like, the box stuff. Okay, so like the, um, like stuff that you just heat up in the microwave. And then I put all the like the meats and stuff out there but then that would means I would have to go and rearrange the one outside and I didn't want to do that today. It's just turning into a bigger project than I wanted to. But it needs to be done because I need to see what we have so we can start eating through stuff. <sighs> I feel like I didn't feel like doing all that today. I really just wanted to straighten this up because I couldn't fit the food in there that we got today. <sighs> okay, so let me show you what we have much better i can see what's in here i still can fit stuff in here if i wanted so this is the like microwavable meals this on this side is like i just want to call it like fast food if you will then up here we have um individualized things like hamburgers and pieces of chicken just in case someone wants to fix just one instead of having to froth the whole pack and then up here we have our breakfast food so we got sausage and pancakes uh pancakes sausage plant-based sausages and then we have turkey turkey bacon in the back and then here is just some fruits and uh one can of juice there so that definitely looks way better and then i ended up organizing the outside freezer too this is why i had to do it off camera because this literally took me like two hours so basically what we have up here we have um extra bread and then ice cream all of this row right here is seafood then this row is all chicken this row is all beef like ground beef steaks all that good stuff right there here this section is potatoes and then we have all of our vegetables and then in the door we have like some more fast food, but this is not like common fast food. Like you don't eat this every day or like once a week. So then we have some ravioli, some more fast food. Then all of this right here is plant-based foods. Um, yeah, so and then all of this is ice cream. And then up here is random. We have like Cool Whip, popsicles, and butter. So all this now is organized. I'm so happy I got it done, even though it did take me two hours to do. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad that I got to try Audis because if we're mo where we're moving, if they have Audis, I'm probably going to continue shopping there because I like the prices and their produce so far. I am impressed. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite Audi finds and if you have any other stores that are budget friendly for large families. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.